Hey guys, we're here back at the Amp Dyno, and today we are actually dynoing another JL Audio amplifier, and this is the HX300 slash one monoblock. If you already haven't seen our other video, be sure to check out the link in the description, and that video is on the MHX280 slash four four channel amplifier by JL Audio. And uh, as normal, we're gonna go ahead and put the amplifier uh, through some tests. Um, this amplifier can be used in a lot of different configurations here. It's ideal for motorcycles, uh, but it also is just like the Marine Series IPX6, which means it's water resistant. It's 300 watt monoblock amplifier. So we're assuming just in JL Audio fashion that it's gonna put out more power than it typically says it's gonna do. So taking a look at what JL Audio rates the amplifier at, just like we do all other manufacturers, you can see at 14.4 volts here, um, at four ohms, it's supposed to put out 160 watts by one. At three ohms, 220 watts by one. And at two ohms, 300 by one. So uh, we're gonna pretty much do the exact same test, but we're gonna do our certified and dynamic tests. For those of you that don't know already, dynamic simulates music, which is what most of us listen to, uh, whether it be on our motorcycle or in our car. So let's go do the tests and uh, see what our results are gonna be. All right guys, so you just saw the results. We're gonna go over them together real quick. So uh, certified, we got 158 at 14.16. So we obviously know that if we had 14.4 volts, it definitely would do 160 watts, if not a few watts more. At three ohms, uh, 220 is what JL Audio claims. So we got 271 at 14.09. At two ohms, JL Audio, 300 watts. Our test, 354 watts at 14.03 volts. And lastly, dynamic, which in my opinion is the most important. Um, 224 watts versus the 160 that JL Audio claims at four ohms, 283 watts versus their 220 at three ohms, and at two ohms, 366 watts versus their claim at 300 at two. Obviously you could see for the most part we were as close as we possibly could be to 14.4 volts. So this amplifier definitely performs and exceeds what the manufacturer states here on the box. Like I said at the beginning of the video, if you already haven't seen it, be sure to check out the dyno video on the MHX280-4. Um, we did the video on this amplifier and this amplifier, of course, and the non-marine amplifier series, they have a 280-4. So essentially you're get basically getting four dyno videos out of two because the only difference between the two series of the HX amplifiers is one of them is marine and one of them is non-marine, so you can rest assured you're actually gonna be getting true power um, out of these amplifiers, regardless if you go with the marine series or non-marine. So there you go, guys. If you already haven't subscribed, make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel, Twitter, and all those social media avenues. Um, and make sure you smash that like button. And of course, it must be thumbs up. I'm Alan with Sonic Electronics, and we'll see you next time.